Hello everyone, and today we're going to be installing this aftermarket spoiler on this 2018 Mustang. Now this job is going to require some drilling, but this same process can be used on other vehicles as well. So let's get started by opening up the trunk. And now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and then grab my trim removal tool. And we're going to go ahead and remove our deck lid latch cover. And this pries right off, just like that. And now I'll go ahead and tuck in my trunk release handle. And you can push this right into the trim panel. And then we have two trunk lid bumpers right here. So all these do is unscrew just like a bolt would. And it might be a little bit tight at first, but these come right off. And there's two. Then we'll grab our trim removal tool and pop out these retaining pins. So there's one. There's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And this trim panel should fall somewhat off. There we go. We'll just put that in the trunk. And there's two rubber plugs at the very end. So we'll go ahead and pop those right off. You don't need any tools. So there's one, and we'll get to the other side, and two. Now we come to the fun part. I want to grab some card stock, and I cut these into one-inch strips. You can cut it whatever width you want, but I did one inch just as convenient. So I have a one inch strip right here and then a hole punch. And then we'll hole punch just one hole in the center, like so. And I did this a few times. And you wanna put this right over your holes. We're gonna create a template from scratch since this didn't come with one. And then grab your painter's tape and we'll cut off a very small piece of tape and we'll go ahead and attach it to the spoiler. You don't need much, just a little bit, just enough to hold the template to the spoiler. And I'm gonna bend the template to the spoiler and contour it just a little bit and throw one more piece of tape just to be safe. And there we go. I don't think that's going anywhere. And we're gonna repeat the same step for all the holes in the spoiler. So there's six total. So there's two, and there's three, four, and then the fifth one should also be in the center. Now the sixth one you won't see because that's off camera off to the side. Now let's take a good look at what we got. So this is what we're looking for. Just a small piece of tape right in the center. And this looks pretty good. This is a very simple template. There's nothing much to it. Now let's go ahead and bring our spoiler to our trunk. I'm gonna set that down very gently. All right, now we're gonna need to align the spoiler right into the correct position. So we wanna get it centered as possible. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape right in the center for now just to hold it while I get my measurements. All right, so I'm gonna grab my ruler and I'm gonna measure to the edge of the spoiler to the edge of the trunk. Now you can use whatever reference point you like. This is the one I used. And I'm gonna go ahead and move it until I get to the very center. And I'm comparing both sides and make sure they're even. So as you can see, I'm moving it back and forth until I get the very center. And that looks pretty good. And now that's where it needs to be. Let's go ahead and secure the spoiler to the trunk. And all you gotta do is take some painter's tape and put an excessive amount of tape right on your template. And of course, it does help to have a second person holding everything down. And now let's go ahead and put some painter's tape on the back side of the template as well. Again, the whole idea is you wanna make sure this template isn't going anywhere and is not moving when you remove the spoiler. So you can never have too much tape. And then we'll put some tape on the center as well. Now you're not gonna see the other edge because the camera started overheating at this point. And now that I swapped out cameras, let's go ahead and do an overview of what it looks like. So as you can see, the spoiler is right where it needs to be, dead center. And I, all I do is put an excessive amount of tape on the template. There is nothing special here. And yep, looks pretty good. Very nice. Now all we need to do is go ahead and remove the spoiler. So I went ahead and grabbed a thin ruler, and I want to get between the template and that tape. The whole idea is I want to detach the painter's tape from the spoiler so it comes off very easily. That way I don't take this template with it. All right, so that side looks pretty good. Let me go to the middle. And, okay, the middle looks pretty detached. Now let me go to the very edge. Now this side got to be, oh, caught it. And with everything looking pretty good, let's go and grab our center punch, and let's create some dimples or indents in your trunk. The whole idea is we don't want the drill bit to start walking as we're drilling. And I'm going to the very center of these holes we created. So there's two. And three. There's four. Five. Last one. Number six. Now let's go ahead and grab our drill and a 1 8 drill bit. And we're going to drill out six pilot holes. The whole idea is you want to get these holes start off small. And then we'll step it up with a stepper bit. So there's two. And three. There's four, five, and last one, six. Now that we're done with the template, let's go and remove it. So I'm gonna lift it straight up so that way the metal shavings doesn't scratch against the paint. And let's see if we can get the center one here. Very nice. And the last one third, and there's the last of it, there we go. And let me go ahead and grab a vacuum and I'm gonna clean up these metal shavings just because I can. I'm not gonna scrape against the trunk, I'm just gonna, gonna glide right over it. 
All right, we're about to halfway point. So I'm going to grab my stepper bit, and I'm going to grab a marker, and let's see if I can just focus right in. So we're going to want 930 seconds. That's the hole we want to drill. So I'm going to mark right above it, which is 5 sixteenths. The whole idea is this mark is to tell me when to stop drilling. So we're shooting for 930 seconds, and we marked 5 sixteenths, and that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and start drilling. And I have a vacuum going just because it's going to vacuum up those metal shavings right as we're drilling into it. So there's one. And let's get our second one. There's two. Let's go to the middle. And three. Not too bad. Let's go to four. Very nice. Five. That went really quick. And last one, six. Just that easy. And after drilling, we do have a few burrs in these holes, so let's grab a deburring tool, and that way we can move all these sharp edges right before painting. And that looks pretty good. There's two. And then we'll go to number three, if the camera will focus in. And there's four. And number five. Looked like I had a nice little burr there. And number six. Now let's go ahead and open up the trunk and work away on the inside. Now this one is double layered, so we're going to have to grab our center punch, and then our one eighth drill bit, and then our stepper bit, and we're going to create a bigger hole just so we can get our screw through and tighten up that spoiler to our trunk. Now some vehicles may vary, but for the S550 Mustang, you will have to do this. And then I'll again move it up to my stepper bit. Now this doesn't need a specific size, it's just big enough so you can get your screw through. You can make it as big as three quarters of an inch up to one inch. If you look at the hole right above it to the top left, it's going to be very similar to that. And it looks like that hole's big enough, so let's grab my deburring tool and let's clean up all these sharp edges. And then we'll repeat the same steps on the driver's side as well. And with the drilling complete, let's go and grab some rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth, and let's clean off the trunk and every area that has exposed metal that we're going to apply touch-up paint to. And let's go ahead and work our way on the inside as well. We're going to clean these holes up because we're going to apply paint to this just so that way nothing rusts out later on. And after a few minutes have passed, the alcohol has dried up. So now we can grab our touch-up paint and we can paint over all that exposed metal. And again, the whole idea is rust prevention as well as just maintain a nice clean appearance on your car. And take your time, there's no rush. Now if you do get any spillover, no big deal. Just grab your microfiber cloth and go ahead and clean up any excess paint. So there's five and six. Now we're gonna open up the trunk and do the ones on the inside. Now it's gonna require a little bit more paint because there's a little bit more exposed metal. And it's starting to look pretty good. Sorry that my hand's in the way. Now we'll work our way to the passenger side and do the same thing. All right, now something I want to go over before we move forward on the installation process, this particular aftermarket spoiler didn't come with any double-sided tape attached to the spoiler, and it didn't come with a roll of 3M double-sided tape. That's perfectly fine. Now, if yours does come with one of those two products, whether it's double-sided tape on the spoiler, or it came with a roll of 3M double-sided tape, then I want to show you how to install that using this process right here. So we're going to grab some Allen keys and some painter's tape, and you're going to tape those Allen keys to the trunk right through your spoiler holes. The whole idea is these Allen keys are going to act as dowel pins or alignment pins when you bring your spoiler and attach it to the trunk. Now just to keep you in the loop, this footage did come from another video where we did a spoiler swap for a 2021 GT Mustang. And if you want to see this in detail, I'll put the link in the top right of this video. And then if we look closely, you can see where the Allen keys are sticking out of the trunk. These are going to act as dowel pins, so it's going to guide that spoiler down beautifully. So that came out looking really good. So let's go ahead and peel off that adhesive liner. And again, this always helps when you have another person and it's going to guide that right down to the holes with perfection and then just press the spoiler right down and that is it. So that's how you do it if you have 3M double sticky tape on your spoiler already. But since this one doesn't, we can skip all that and go ahead and hold the spoiler right to the trunk and go ahead and install our screws. So let's grab some thread locking compound and this one requires an Allen key just to go ahead and install these screws. Some of them require uh, Phillips screwdrivers, some require 10 millimeter wrenches. And then very carefully start the screw and try not to drop it in the trunk. If you do, you got to take the whole trunk off. And it looks like we got that one started. Very nice. Then I move to the other side and do the same step. Now, for those of you who are curious, that silver piece of metal that's attached to the Allen key, that's just a magnet. That's just to make sure I don't drop the screw as I'm screwed it in. 
Now, unfortunately, my camera did overheat when I was doing the middle screws, but you didn't really miss anything. I just went and started them by hand and then tightened them up with an Allen key. Now I'm taking a quarter inch socket wrench. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up so they're nice and snug. And you wanna go over each one of them at least twice, just to make sure you got all of them nice and snug evenly. And now we start putting things back together. So let's grab our rubber plugs and let's go ahead and push those right in. Very nice. So now we can install our trim panel. So I'm gonna feed the trunk release handle through the panel and line everything up. And then go ahead and press in all nine retaining pins. So our six, seven, eight, nine, and now we'll go ahead and put that handle right back in place. Beautiful. So now we can go ahead and screw in our trunk lid bumpers and these screw in just as easy as they came out until they're nice and snug. So there's one and there's two. And then go ahead and press back on your deck lid latch cover. Very nice. And of course, no job is done until you clean up all your metal debris. So grab your shop vac and let's go ahead and clean up all those metal shavings that's all over the trunk. Now let's go ahead and close her up, see how it looks. That came out looking perfect. That looks beautiful. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe.